Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Anything Blows. My name is Andrew Dika, and today I've got a reaction video for you guys, more specifically last Saturday's UFC event, more specifically the UFC 293, Israel Adesanya versus Sean Strickland for the UFC middleweight title. I'm fully aware that majority of you should already know the result by now, but for those who don't, stay tuned and you'll find out. So, just before I get into the video, guys, be much appreciated if you hit the like button, subscribe button, and share with as many people as possible. Have you done so? Right, let's get back into the video. Let's get back into the video, guys. So, um, I've done a full card prediction for this one. Kevin Jusset versus Kiefer Crosby. I was looking forward to this one, man. Kiefer Crosby making his UFC debut. Short notice, I think two weeks he had less than that. But he took it, he went across, across to, to Australia from Ireland. Uh, I was going to say a Brit, but he's, uh, he's Irish. Um, yeah, he unfortunately lost by first round submission to Kevin Jusset. Congratulations to Kevin in the worldweight division. And hopefully Keith will be back soon. Next fight, Shane Young versus Gabriel Miranda. Shane Young lost his fight to Gabriel Miranda. First round submission, 59 seconds. I was surprised. I thought Shane Young would have had a lot more. And not all Aussies and New Zealanders won on night. But great victory for Gabriel. Mike Mafefa or Mateta to Charles Radke. Charles Radke won this fight via decision. Great performance from him and unbelievable, unbelievable performance. Well done to Charles. Now we move on to the preliminary card, right? So, what about this one? And I said, I've watched this man for like three, four, five years now. Nasrat Hakpras against Landon Quinones. Nasrat Hakpras looks amazing. Great at lightweight. Okay, he has his moments on and off. Obviously, there's a funny meme that he's a Kelvin Gastelum with, with a full weight cut or like a, a slimmed down Kelvin Gastelum. But looks great. Looks amazing. Look great. And congratulations to him. Now, we move on to the lightweight division. Jamie Malarkey. Yes, finally. Jamie getting a big, big win. Decision win. And love to see the Aussies winning. And he beat John McDessey um, via decision. Now... Jack Jenkins unfortunately lost to Shepe Mariscal. Tough one, tough one to take. So I did think Jack Jenkins with obviously for those casuals or those just tuning in, they see the Nelk Boy stuff, which was entertaining and it was great training with Salim and um Cousin Jay. But it's unfortunate for Jack Jenkins and um, he'll be back soon, but great win from Shepe. Now, a guy I told you about, and oh my god, for years I remember watching him on the contender series, I believe it was, or However, his first fight was against the UFC. Carlos Allberg winning by third round submission, 4 minutes 49 seconds against Jung Da Un. Great victory. Light heavyweights come to scrap, come to fight, and great victory. And congratulations to Carlos. Now we move on to the main card. Who? Oh, we talk about light heavyweights, and I told you light heavyweights come to scrap. Tyson Pedro versus Anton Turkulai. I had a lot of belief in Anton Turkulai. Unfortunate to him, commiserations. But Tyson Pedro winning by first round technical knockout slash knockout. It was a great one. Um, and amazing from Tyson. There's there's not much you can say there. Two minutes in and beautiful. Again, Justin Tarfer, his brother Junior just won a few weeks ago on Holloway on the card. Now he's winning first round. Again, another knockout. Big knockout against Austin Lane. And a great photo walk off. Great, great knockout. Now Manel Cape versus um, Felipe dos Santos. Manel Cape just shows why he's so good. One of the best at flyweight. So I would love to see that fight of him and Kai Kara France get scheduled. And hopefully one of them is next up in line for the title. Great victory for Manel Cape. Now, Tai Tui Vasa versus Alexander Volkov. Alexander Volkov won this fight via second round submission. Unfortunately, no Shuri this time around. I did think the Shuri would win. But Alexander Volkov's a beast. Having over or just around 50 fights now. Tied to be vast, an unfortunate loss, but great, great submission. And Volkov is just a beast and a unit and Drago for a reason. Now, we go on to the main event. Bittersweet. <sighs> How do I describe this one? The style bender, Israel Adesanya, lost his UFC middleweight title to Sean Strickland. Look, I am not surprised at this result, but... Uh, I did say to many people, I feel like if Sean Strickland wins this fight, he wins it, but he doesn't celebrate as much as he should celebrate. He just takes it as another day in the office. He won this fight 49-46. Dominant performance from Strickland. Dominant all round. And I can't believe Israel lost again. I mean, it was it's one thing to lose to Jan Vlahovic. One thing to lose to Pereira, who you have history with. And a man that's beat him on several occasions. But Sean Strickland... Wow, but he's a dog, he's a beast, I don't think he'd go past 2-3 rounds, 
And wow, congratulations to him. He just pieced Israel up and made Israel look normal again. And congratulations to him because I think he done it best. Okay, Pereira, Blahovic held him down, but Pereira did get him out of there. But Sean Trishan just dominated him. And congratulations, the UFC have a new champion and his name is Sean Strickland. He's a new UFC middleweight champion. Commiserations to Israel, but he'll be back again soon. One of the greatest ever to do, and in my opinion, alongside with Anderson Silva, with a middleweight go and one of the greatest middleweight champions and UFC champions of all time. Get a heal up soon, is he? And we'll get this one back. Uh, on the meanwhile, congratulations to Sean. I guess it's a Sean time now. Sean O'Malley and Sean Strickland. So, yeah, the season of the Sean. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. Congratulations to Sean Strickland because I know he deserves it and how hard he works in camp. And he's a monster. He's a madman. I see where he's come up. And, man, it was inevitable in a sense that uh, the hard work the guy puts in. So, uh, congratulations to him and I'm proud of him. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Andrew Dika. Thank you so much for tuning in to Anything Blows. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below uh, what you thought this fight. Share with many people. And until next time, peace out.